Meghan and Harry issued rude awakening on royal life in U.S. can expect to be loved and financed and not produce anything. Greetings from Royal Family Olid on my channel. Lauren Chen took issue with the two's attempts to break into the media. Lauren Chen has argued that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have received a rude awakening due to their popularity in the United States. The political analyst criticized the couple for their attempts to enter the media when they left their royal duties in 2020. Since then, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have written autobiographies, podcasts, and documentaries on their time spent as members of the royal family. Chen says there is no appetite for the marriage in the U.S., and that Meghan was wrong to think that being a royal would increase her popularity with Americans. Thank you, please share my video. It's no longer up for debate or dispute whether their Spotify arrangement was successful or not, she told GB News. What has happened to these partnerships, which Netflix has had for years, even with Netflix? I saw that the docuseries was widely criticized. Simply put, there is no longer a market for what Harry and Meghan are attempting to sell. It will be a harsh realization that if you are genuinely a respected and active member of the royal family, you cannot simply be a royal in America and produce nothing and expect to be loved and supported the way you could be in the UK. The couple's business, Archwell Productions, has managed the creation of numerous well-known media projects since relocating to the US. Their successful Spotify partnership, which has since ended, brought them their first success. A number of Harry and Meghan Markle's well-known pals made guest appearances in the 33-minute podcast holiday special, including Tyler Perry and Elton John. Meghan obtained a deal with publishing Behemoth Penguin Random House, and as a result, she published her Dippet book in June 2021. The poem Meghan wrote and gave to Harry as a Father's Day present inspired the novel, which was called The Bench. Their highly anticipated collaborative media endeavor materialized as a six-part Netflix documentary series, featuring several shocking revelations about the royal family. Rotten Tomatoes gave the show a 19% audience score and received mostly unfavorable reviews. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. It is also said to be a major factor in the pair's decision to cut ties with the royal family.